Hello and good morning everybody. Um, lovely to have you here. As you can see, I am not Cliff, I am Kat, um, taking the session for you this morning. Um, yeah, it's lovely to say hi in the chat if you'd like to, or just a big old hello um, without saying anything's completely fine as well. And um, we've got Basti on the chat, so if there's any questions, I'm sure he can help you there. And thank you for being here too, Basti, that's great. So we're going to continue with the kidney channel that Cliff started us off a couple of weeks ago. So tuning into our water element. Um, I think we've done the bladder already and now we're on to the kidney and we're going to work our way up and instead of our kidney one, which we will look at uh, as usual, um, we're going to move up the leg and we're moving to kidney number three. It's a lovely point and I like to check in with it. First thing within a treatment, checking in with the legs and the feet and the alignment in the pelvis and the lower back. But anyway, it's lovely to be here and we're going to um, get moving in a minute, connecting in with the kidney kind of cooling and warming because even though it's in the water element, the, the amazing thing of the kidneys is it also has fire. So we can help our kidney um, channel, our essence, to either be warmed or cooled. So nourishing the yin or helping the yang to calm it down a little bit. So we've got a smooth, lovely feeling in the kidney channel. So. First things first, I thought we could come to a comfortable sitting position and then I'm going to do a little poll before we get completely going. So I'm going to go and get my chair, but you can sit on the floor if you like, do whatever feels comfortable for you. So I'm going to first just sit nice and comfy, making sure my pelvis is nice and relaxed on the chair. Same if you're sitting, you might want to sit with a bolster or a cushion underneath the pelvis. So the front of the pelvis can really relax those hip flexors there. We're just going to allow the shoulders to roll forward and back, oh, making sure they're nice and relaxed as well. Okay, and the same with the jaw. That's an area I definitely need to release uh, too much chit chatting from me. So allowing the jaw and the face to relax as well. And you can have your eyes closed or gently softening the gaze if you prefer than closing the eyes. And we're gonna take one hand onto the chest and one hand onto the belly, making sure the elbows are still relaxed, hanging downwards with the gravity. And we're just having a little listen. How are we feeling today, this morning? It's the middle of the week. There's probably a gazillion things that we have to get done, but that's okay. They're definitely still there at 11 o'clock when we finish doing this. So we don't need to worry about them right now. So we're just tuning in to how we feel. You might notice where your breath is sitting. We're not necessarily changing anything, we're simply noticing. You might feel how the body is, if there's any tension or if it's feeling great. And the same with our mind or thoughts. So just noticing. So we'll take that little snapshot and we're going to like leave that to one side so we don't need to hold on to those thoughts and feelings. And before we get going on choosing the pole, if we just take in some breaths first to allow our breath to gently drop down into the belly. So we're going to take either one hand or both hands to sit on the top of the chest here. Later, we know that the kidney channel comes all the way up to the collarbone, but that's for another week. I won't spoil it. Yeah, spoiler alert for Cliff there. 
So taking the hands on the top of the chest here, and all we're gonna do is take three breaths in, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in, filling the space underneath the hands and breathing out. Letting everything soften and melt, ebb away. Breathing in through the nose. Not forcing the breath, only going as far as is comfortable. Breathing out, letting everything melt towards the ground. Breathing in here, filling the upper chest with air, true key. Breathing out, letting it melt away. Now I'm going to move the hands to the lower ribs and it's the same. You can just do one hand around the solar plexus or both hands, allowing the elbows to relax even though they're out to the side. And hello every, anybody who's just joined us, I can see the chat wiggling around from over here. So we're gonna breathe in, in through the nose and then out through the mouth. And it's the same here, we're just allowing the ribs to open gently sideways and forward. We're filling the rib cage, the lungs with air, breathing out, melting away. Breathing in through the nose, filling the lungs with lovely true key and breathing out. Great. And then taking one hand or both hands on the belly, our Dantian, just below the belly button. So it's like uh, one thumb below the belly button or two there, just about there. We're gonna breathe into the belly. Even though we know our lungs don't physically go there, we're gonna send the breath down. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. Breathing into the belly, allowing the front of the body to really fill up with wonderful chi and breathing out through the mouth. One more here, not forcing anything. So if the breath feels a bit stuck here, that's okay. Allow, you can place a hand on the lower ribs and the belly, just to help encourage things to soften and ease. Let's just take one more here. I know we've done three already. Let's take the last one breath here, filling in, into the belly, and then breathing out through the mouth. Lovely. And then coming to a natural breath. And we can allow the hands to come off the body I'm going to come back to the screen and I'm going to select a poll if I can find it and I just want to see how you're doing today. I'm just going to find, here we are, how are you coping? So I'm just going to share this with you now. I'm not really going to focus on too many polls today, I'd rather really like to get us moving. I mean, the joy is it's quite warm here in Norwich, but the uh, kidney channel is really great for cooling as well as warming. Okay, so there's a few of you coping really well. 33% of you are okay, and 33% of you are neutral, but it's quite a few of you stressed or very stressed. So don't worry, I hope by 11 we feel way better. So. That. Let's start with, I'm going to take my glasses off, we're going to come back to sitting and actually I know we do kidney one and point of the week much later but I'm going to start with it because I think it's such a wonderful place to start at the feet. Yeah. So you can do the same, either sitting on the floor or on the chair. I'm going to come a little closer so you can see where I'm pressing. So making sure you're nice and comfy, same with the pelvis, easy in the pelvis and that the spine's got lots of space to grow up towards the sky. I'm going to take a hold of one ankle here and we're going to rub the hands together. We're going to get the feet nice and awake this morning. This will really help draw the energy downwards to help de-stress us and feel a lot calmer, more grounded this morning. So. All we're going to do is squeeze the foot entirely. Imagining, imagining it's like clay, like we're warming it up before we're going to uh, sculpt it 
into something wonderful. So take really giving a good old squeeze around the ankle, the heel of the foot, into the sole of the foot, all the metatarsals and the toes. You might want to give each toe a wiggle or a squeeze. And any time which, you know, you're all intelligent human beings here with us this morning. Anytime you need to rest or lie down or do less, please feel free to. There's no judging and I can't see you anyway, so you're completely fine. You can do what you need. All right, so giving the foot a nice squeeze. Now I'm just going to start to move the foot to see what kind of movement there is in the foot here. It's amazing, it can move to flex and point, moving from side to side, um, kind of diagonally as well, so folding and opening. Yeah, that's great. And then we're going to take a hold of the heel, this beautiful, what's it called, the calcaneus. So taking a hold of the heel in the palm of your hand and giving a little rotation. Even if it doesn't move much, that's okay. We're just working with what we're feeling this morning, easing out the heel. That's great. And I've got the other hand on the lower leg here just to help balance and stabilize everything. Okay. And now we're going to go down and find our wonderful kidney one, which I think we did last week with the recording. So I'll move my foot so you can see. We all know I'm going to use my fingertips in underneath the ball of the foot between the big toe and the second toe metatarsal, giving a really nice yummy squeeze. So if you're feeling tired and a bit cold, this one's going to be great for warming you up and energizing. If you're feeling a little bit stressed and a bit hot, this point's really good for cooling. And the next one we're going to do, point of the week, is also good for that. But we'll get to that in a minute. We'll do the other foot. So giving a nice squeeze. You might want to also connect in with the thumb here, giving a nice press to relax the ankle there. And then we'll use a very loose wrist. We're just going to gently tap underneath the sole of the foot. Really loose wrist and hand. Tapping, waking, easing the sole of the foot open. And then placing that foot down. We'll do the same with the other one. So taking the foot across, either sitting on the chair or on the floor. Rubbing the hands together if you wish. And then holding round the ankle and the foot, we're going to give the whole thing a good old squeeze. There's lots going on in the chat. I hope you're all all right. Oh, Mary's got that's lovely. Thank you for sharing that, Mary. It's wonderful. Let me have a little look. Oh, great. Really glad. Okay giving a squeeze all around the foot. Or if you have somebody at home that wants to squeeze them for you, uh, you can blame that on me. Ask them to squeeze away, yeah. Squeezing around the whole foot, warming up that clay to help sculpt it into something wonderful. A wonderful feat that we're finding this morning. And you might want to squeeze or wiggle each toe. I know we're going to work on the kidney channel and you're wondering why am I connecting in so much with the feet? I always find if I haven't found my feet, my spine's probably not going to do so well standing. So I always like to connect in with the feet first. All right, and then we're going to take a hold of the foot, giving a little wiggle from side to side, seeing what movement there is. And it might feel different to the other foot. One might feel a bit more sticky or stiff. We're just going to work with what we've got. And that's not a problem that one does one thing and one does another. Flexing, wiggling from side to side. 
And then we'll do the same with the heel. Our lovely calcaneus, taking a hold of it in the palm of the hand and giving a bit of a rotate. Making sure we're still breathing as well. I know we're concentrating on our feet, but just allowing the breath to really easily pour in. And then we're going to take a hold and find that kidney one underneath the sole of the foot between the big toe and the second toe, metatarsal. Although I'm sure you all know where it is by now, experts on the kidney one. Putting a nice squeeze into the sole of the foot. So you can do that with the thumbs. So if you're cold and feeling tired, this one's great for warming and energizing. And if perhaps you're a bit hot or stressed out, this one's also great for cooling us down. And then the same thing here, loose wrist and hand with the palm of the hand, gently tapping underneath the sole of the foot. Really easy. The looser the better. Gently, gently tapping, waking up the sole of the foot. Okay. So I'm going to place that foot down. You can remain sitting and I'm going to find a slide for you to show you. Yay, Dinah's here, the foot gate, yes. Um, I want to find for you our slides. So here we are, I think you've seen this table already. So it's our water element. The season is winter. The negative emotion is fear. And the positive emotion is courage or willpower. All right, I'm going to go back one because we're going to do point of the week is number three the supreme stream. So it's situated on the inside of the ankle, behind the ankle bone, which is the medial malleolus. And it's in between the ankle bone and the Achilles tendon, which you can see in the picture here. It's amazing at benefiting the lungs. I know, even though it's on the ankle and strengthens the lumbar spine. So I just want to read a little bit about what it also does from my little points book. So it nourishes our kidney yin, it tonifies our kidney yang, it benefits the uterus, strengthens the lower back and knees. So anything with um, irregular menstruation or chronic lower backache, things like that is really good for helping with um, basically treating the kidneys, it can help um, check in um, and help the level of our kidney energy. So let's find that. I'm going to stop sharing the slide, but I'll, I'll pop it up at the end again. So as we're sitting, let's check in. We've gone from kidney one. We're going to come to kidney three. So finding that bony bit on the ankle and our Achilles tendon, we're just going to move back from the bony part of the ankle and drop in to this lovely point here. Oh, actually, that's a lovely one. I think I needed that this morning. Dropping in. Really sending some lovely energy into that point. And we'll do the same with the other side, seeing if we can find it. So I'll turn sideways just so you can see, but you can also connect with it, with the leg a bit more relaxed. So the bony part of the ankle bone on the inside and we've got the Achilles tendon at the back. So if you slide the thumb back and then just drop into that little dip there, our oh, kidney three. Well, it's a very strong one. I can feel already my lower back easing. So if there's any tiredness, this one's going to be really good to help with the lower back. Ah, making sure we're still breathing. I've caught myself a little shallow breath there. That's our point of the week, kidney three. All right, so releasing the foot. So we've worked the feet. We're gonna to start to come up to standing. So I'm gonna move the chair out of the way. Take your time to um, come to standing. So what we're gonna do first is a little bit um, experimental, but just Walking the feet in the ground, we've got these beautiful feet nice and open. Our foot gate, as Dinah said in the chat, 
connecting in with the earth and the earth um, energy so it can come all the way up through the body our kidney one yeah then we're going to allow the movement just to be a bit spontaneous and free allowing the movement from the feet through the legs through the spine you might want to take a yawn and a stretch gently opening the collarbone at the front Ooh, taking your time you might want to open the face a little bit shaking out the legs being just a little bit free for a minute <sighs> easing out the joints and allowing this movement energy gently coming up through the feet and including our kidney one we've got our kidney three here on the inside of the ankle nice and strong legs and ankles moving gently the body great so from here i thought we could do just a little bit dough in round the bladder and kidney channels just a couple of times to really help allow the nervous system to start to rest and relax so when we're stressed what we want to do is help the parasympathetic nervous system to kick in to help us really rest and allow things to digest and process. Our sympathetic nervous system is the one that kind of gets up and goes, it's the fight and fly, it's the, the, the willpower to get going. So to help us calm down and de-stress, let's help the parasympathetic nervous system to really um, tune in to help the whole body and as we know so our nervous system comes from the spine in bundles and it moves from the spine round to the front of the body all right so especially when we're stressed it might affect the guts a lot so we're going to get into this back area in a minute so feet nice and spread in the ground ankles knees hips soft imagining we've got cushions in between the joints we're just going to give the hands a bit of a shake and uh, cook spaghetti bones yeah so taking them up to the top of the head and gently tapping round the top imagining they're really juicy raindrops which is what we're trying to hope for in Norwich we need some rain so juicy raindrops round the top of the head you might want to gently come to the forehead where we've done already our bladder one uh, point. Bladder over the top of the head here, like our mohawk. Down the back, I'll turn around so you can see, back all the way to the occipital point on the back of the head, into the neck, gently tapping. Might wanna do that one again. Gently tapping up and over the skull, into the back of the neck. And we're going to come onto the shoulders. So I like to take a hold of one elbow and go to the opposite side, tapping from the top of the neck here all the way down to the tip of the shoulder, making sure we're still breathing. Easy breath. We've still got soft and spread feet, easy ankles, easy knees and pelvis. Yeah, and we're going to do the same on the other side. So taking a hold of the arm and going to the opposite shoulder, easing out the top of the shoulder here. You can hold lots of tension, so we're going to tap it away. And then with the fingertips, coming to tap, still loose wrist, the front here, along the collarbone, Yep, spoiler alert, where the kidney channel is going to move up to, but that's for another week. <laughs> We're still at the feet on, on kidney three, around the ankles. So tapping gently underneath the collarbone. And then we're going to go a little lighter down the sternum. All the way to the, underneath the ribs here. All the way out. Really gently here. This can be a bit tender sometimes, really gentle. And then I'm going to turn around so you can see, I'm going to start to tap around the kidney area, but really making sure that I don't jam my arms up too high to hurt the shoulders. I'm going to soften the knees and gently curl over, tapping either side where the kidneys are, 
really gently, or you might really feel that it's okay to give them a good homily. Do what feels right for you. Yeah. And then whilst we're here, we're going to turn the tapping into some circles. Normally we do 88, but um, we'll just do as many as needed. So I'm using this part of my hand here, the thumb and index finger, and we're going to make some circles around the kidneys. It's going to help ease, ease off any tension, stress. Still got the feet spread in the ground, the kidney one is open to the earth. Kidney three is nice and strong around the ankles. And we're connecting in with this gorgeous channel to help the lower back, to help tonify our yang and nourish our kidney yin. So keeping those circles going, making sure the shoulders are still easy. We're getting there, I'm not sure we're at 88 just yet. But that's okay. Easing it out, all right. And then from here, we're just gonna open the palms and brush down the sacrum, allowing the hands just to brush down the sacrum and the tailbone and the glutes, easing off the kidneys. And then we'll continue the tapping. So into the glutes. They did loads of work for us, so we'll get those released a bit more. And we're gonna go down the legs and we're gonna connect in with our bladder channel in the center part of the back of the leg. But you already know that because we've done the, the bladder channel already. So tapping with the palms of the hands, soften the knees and drop the head and only go as far as is comfortable. Tap it all the way down the back of the legs towards the little toes. And we're gonna come up the inside, connecting in with the kidney channel. So down we go. Back of the legs into the bladder channel, tapping up the inside. We can get into kidney three here in the ankles, down the knees, and all the way up to the pelvis. Great, so we're just going to do one quick um, wash of tapping around the body, connecting in with what we've done already. If you want to join in with just the rubbing, please do. But go at your own speed. If you just want to rest here, be my guest. No panic to do anything in particular. So tapping around the eyebrows. A little swifter this time. Back of the occipital point here, back of the neck. And we're going to go over the shoulders. Onto the chest. Onto the other shoulder. And we're going to go down the sternum, gently around the bottom of the ribs, into the kidneys. Here we're going to soften the knees and then we can take our circles, making sure the head and neck are still relaxed. Yeah. And then brushing the sacrum under can start to bring us back up to standing. Then we're going to tap down the back of the legs. We'll just do it a couple of times. Tapping into the glutes, down the back of the legs, soften the knees, relax the head. Only go as far as it's comfortable. Up the inside into our lovely point of the week, kidney three. All the way up. And then once more, if that feels all right, making sure the head and neck are relaxed. Tapping up the inside. And then coming to the belly at the front, I'm just going to take some easy circles. So I'm going right hip up to the right ribs, across to the left ribs and down to the left hip. The way our digestive system runs is helping to ease all of this out. Catching your breath if we've been <laughs> moving quite a lot already. And then drawing that circle into a smaller spiral just underneath the belly button. Ah, and taking a breath. We've still got our feet nicely connected in the ground. Kidney one, and we've got our gorgeous kidney three to help strengthen the knees and the lower back. A beautiful point for cooling and warming. 
tonifying and nourishing. So then undo the hands. You might want to shake the legs out. Just going to check the time and see how we're doing. It's already, well, it's already half past. How's the chat doing? Oh, great. Everybody's on it. That's wonderful. So we're going to continue standing for now. And in a little while, we'll come to resting on the floor. Because I also think that's important um, within our movement practice and our energy practice that we have time to process and allow the the what do i use in yoga the undoing the doing so we'll have time for doing that or non doing that all right <laughs> not doing much at all at the end all right so we're going to do some qigong connecting in with the water element so what i would like to do first is allow us to so i'll demonstrate first you know we have our usual qigongs double weighted swings here so we've got the feet pointing forward knees are soft hips are relaxed and we're just allowing the movement from the belly button easing out the spine so you've all done this before you're all experts with this and what i'd like just to bring in is that we have loose fists and as we turn that the arms gently come up one to the belly just underneath the belly button our dantian and the other one's going to gently tap here on the lumbar spine, which is also where our kidney um, point is. Um, it's actually our Ming Men, so where our energy from our dad comes in, and this is the energy from where our mum comes in when, when we're um, conceived. So this Qigong swing is called Knocking at Life's Door. No, I won't sing any Guns and Roses, Knocking on Heaven's Door. This is Knocking on Life's Door, yeah. So let's begin, <laughs> I'll turn slightly sideways so you can see the arms, making sure the elbows and shoulders are relaxed. Soft feet, ankles, knees and hips are eased. And we'll start just with gently turning, allowing the arms to relax. Oh, and the face to relax and the breaths nice and easy, not forcing anything. All right. So from here, just gently starting to make soft fists, even though the arms are dangling down. And then the arms are gently gonna come up. So we're tapping, not hard, really being kind to ourselves, but both we're tapping front and back on the conception vessel and the governing vessel, where our kidneys hold water and fire cooling and warming. Making sure we're still breathing. We're knocking on life's door. When we need a bit of energy or a bit of nourishing, this is definitely gonna help us. Easing out. You can go at your own speed as well. It can be nice and easy. And then we're going to allow the arms to start to relax again either side of the body. Still got our loose fists. And then I'm releasing the hands into our swing again. And we'll just do it once more, just a few times. So allowing the hands to make a loose fist, gently turning from side to side. Of course, stop any time if you're feeling dizzy and you might want to work a little bit more on your kidney one underneath the soles of the feet. And then gently tapping front and back, Dan Tien and Ming Men, knocking on life's door. Nice and easy. Using your breath. And then we're going to release the arms again to swing by the sides. And then start to release the hands so they're not in a loose fist anymore. I'm going to allow the swinging to gently ebb away till we come to a nice standing parallel. Ah, 
Hope you're all feeling all right. We're just going to shake the legs out. I'd really like to do just a couple more standing things. We've got plenty of time. A couple more standing things together. I'd like to do one uh, where we're imagining we're in some water. And then the next one we're going to play with being a wave with the hands. All right. So let's do the sideways one first. So what we're going to do is have a little bit wider stance and we're shifting the weight from one foot to the other. So we're pushing off with the feet. So soft ankles, knees and hips. And guess what? We're connecting in with the kidney one and the kidney three. So it's this energy. Imagine the water can be still and quite calm. But it also can be powerful and forceful. We're not forcing anything, but we can use the power from the feet, the kidney one and kidney three, to move us from side to side. All right. So that's the movement we're going to do with the feet allowing this movement like a wave to move up through the spine and the arms don't worry once we get going it's super simple we're imagining we're in the water we might be in a beautiful sea maybe barbados that would be great right now wouldn't it? or cooling spring in wales whatever fat, um, tickles your fancy choose where you want to be but we're in water up to our knees and what we're going to do with the hand so opposite side so I'm using my right hand and I'm scooping to the left. I'm going to scoop down into the water, soften the knees, drop the pelvis a little bit. And you scoop up this water and we're pushing with the feet. And I'm going to allow it to imagine it's pouring down the back of my head, back of my neck, all the way down into the pelvis and then the heels. And then the other side. So we're going to scoop down into the water, scooping it up. And it's nourishing us and cooling us. It's going all the way down the back of the body. If there's any neck issues, keep the head facing forward. So we're scooping. We don't have to go really low. It can be a bit more waist height. Do what feels good for you this morning. Washing the body, washing the spine with this gorgeous water. Sparkling, it might be sparkling in the sunlight. Scooping it up, using the feet, kidney one and kidney three, powerful points. We might as well use them so we can use less energy to move the body from side to side. We're using the feet and the power of these points, scooping up and moving each side, pouring that water all the way down the back to the heels. It's nice and calming, easing the spine. Got a nice space around the waist. Allowing the face to relax, the eyebrows to relax as well. We're still using our feet nice and softly in the ground. And we're still breathing. <laughs> scooping up that gorgeous water just a few more on each side or rest when you need to so making this one your last one scooping the water in pouring down the back to the heels and we're just going to bring the feet in a little closer and hands um, palms facing the ground at waist height, allowing that lovely energy just to pour all the way down the spine at the back, gently allowing the lumbar spine to ease off. We've got gorgeous connection with the feet, kidney one and kidney three at the ankle, easy shoulders. Lovely. And we'll just shake the hands and the feet out. Okay, we're going to do a gentle walking practice, connecting in with this feeling of being like a wave at the ocean. Okay. Again, it's very simple and it's, I like it because it eases out the back of the legs and the lower back and sacrum. So it's very gentle. 
The movement with the hands is uh, palms facing outwards at shoulder height or a long one. And we're gently sending the hands away and then relax the hands over and they draw back in like a wave. Making sure the elbows are relaxed. So sending the wave out and then the wave draws back in, relaxing the wrists. So this is the movement of the arms. The movement of the feet is nice and simple. So we're going to begin hands at long one here, relaxing the elbows. And I'm going to step out with my right foot, gently turning to 45 degrees roughly, just one step forward. And as we press the hands forward, we're gently pushing the hands away and the back foot can lift up. And then it's going to soften, soften the knees and draw the hands back. We can use the breath as well. So I like to breathe in as we draw back. Breathing out. Sending the wave and the breath away. Breathing in. Breathing out. Nice and easy. Helping the back of the legs, the knees to ease off if there's any tension will help to strengthen them as well. Allowing the spine and the lumbar around the waist to start to relax and ease off and also to get stronger as well. So the more space there is in our body, the stronger we can be. Breathing out, breathing in, drawing that gorgeous energy in, we're nourishing our kidney yin. Lovely. And then the next time we're going to draw in, we're going to send away and then we're going to pick up that back foot, the left foot, and we're going to draw the arms in again and then step to the other side. And then we can move the back foot to realign. So really gently sending away, breathing in, drawing and relaxing the hands in. We're a wave at the ocean. Very gentle, gentle but strong wave. Breathing out, breathing in, nourishing that kidney in. Breathing out, breathing in. And the next time we're going to send forward, pick that back foot up, draw the hands in, and we'll do the same the other side. So we'll just do a few more one side than the other. So we're gently walking forwards. You might like to do this in your garden later. You just want to ease out the lower back, especially if you've been sitting for a long time. Easing out the legs. We're using our kidney one and kidney three and the feet and ankles. Allowing the breath to come in, nice and easy. And go at your own pace, your own breath rhythm. And then the same thing again, next time we're going to come forward, we're going to pick up that back foot, draw in the arms, the same the other side. Just a few more this side. Allowing the spine to be nice and easy. Really using the feet. So we, you know, we can we can make pretty patterns, but actually it's the movement from the feet up the legs into the spine that sends the arms. Next time we step forward, we're going to breathe out, 
bring the hands in and the feet. I'm going to move back so you can see what I'm doing. Bring in the feet and the hands. And we're just going to send the palm of the hands down, sending the energy down all the way into the ground. Lovely. And then shake the hands out and shaking the legs out. I hope you're all doing all right. We're going to come to um, sitting again so we can just connect back in with our point of the week. I'm going to put the slide up again. So everybody get comfortable. You might want to sit on the floor or the chair again. I'm going to share this slide with you so you can see it again. So we've got our supreme stream. So this gentle water washing us and nourishing the kidney yin and helping tonify the kidney yang. So we've got our water and fire in with the kidneys. We want a bit of both. Oh, Mary, I can actually still sense and relax my calf muscles, but not straight, so no movement. Okay, no worries. Really gentle with the legs. If at all, I should have mentioned, you can just use the arms if the rocking with the legs is too much, okay? So we've got this lovely point here. So I'm just gonna um, stop sharing the slides. So we've come to sitting again. I'm just gonna get my chair for you. So yeah, you can do the same. I should have mentioned it before. So it just stepping out and it can be a small step out and just using the feet so we don't have to rock so much with the legs. Yeah, so really gentle. So if this rocking and using the feet and the legs is quite strong, allow the movement still to come up, up from kidney one, through kidney three, all the way up through the legs, but less movement with, with the feet and the calves, all right? So we can still ride the wave from the feet all the way up the legs and through the spine. Yeah, I hope that's okay and useful for you. So I'm gonna to come to sitting. And the same thing, again, easy on the pelvis. You might want to sit on the floor with a bolster. I'm just going to take a hold of the foot again, giving a little squeeze. And with the foot and ankle relaxed, we're just going to tune in a little bit. You might want to use fingertips or the thumb. Tuning into that kidney three. So finding that um, bumpy bit on the ankle bone and then dropping back towards the Achilles tendon and dropping in here just going to give a little press allowing some more time on this point to help us de-stress and hopefully help um, Mary with your calves and knees this point's really good for that and then giving the foot a whole squeeze and we'll do the same the other side yeah. so taking a hold of the other foot same thing I'll move round so we want to catch a hold of the ankle, finding the ankle bone on the inside, dropping back towards the Achilles. Ooh, that feels really good. That's a nice point indeed. You can use fingertips and give a nice press and squeeze, kind of pinching round the Achilles or holding with the thumb. Helping the lower back helping the knees, helping to nourish our kidney yin. It's definitely gonna help us to calm down. And then giving the foot a nice squeeze all around. Right. I did promise we were gonna to come to relax on the floor, undoing our doing. So if you'd like to, and you might wanna either lie on a bed or floor or sofa, go to wherever's comfortable. I'm gonna move the chair out of the way, so take your time. So we're just gonna to come to lying on the floor and we're gonna have the feet connected into the ground still. So if you need a cushion under your head, feel free to as well. So if there's any tension in the neck, use a cushion to allow the back of the neck to stay nice and long, okay? Feet are planted in the floor. We've still got our lovely kidney one and kidney three active. 
Allow the shoulders to nestle into the ground and the spine can just gently unfurl along the ground, including the sacrum and the tailbone. And all we're going to do to begin is just gently allow the knees to rock from side to side, but very gently. Today, I'm definitely not looking for knees on the floor. So I'll turn side so you can see really gentle movement allowing the knees to rock from side to side, allowing space in the lumbar spine where our Ming men is, where we were knocking on life's door with our swings, gently, gently rocking the knees from side to side, making sure we're still breathing. Ah. <sighs> Allow yawns or sighs, certainly not a bad thing at all. And we've got the collarbone and shoulders nice and wide at the front. Easing out the lower back. And then we're just gently going to allow the knees to come to the centre. And you can either allow the legs out nice and long, if you you're okay with that on your lower back. If that's pulling too much, widen the feet a little bit more and then allow the knees to drop and touch. So now we're really just going to stay what we still. <laughs> we're going to allow our waters in the body to kind of gently settle. So either feet wide and knees together or legs out nice and long. Do whatever feels comfortable. Rearrange yourself for sure if you need to get a bit more comfortable. We're just going to take some breaths here. So if you want to close your eyes, you can. We're just going to do exactly what we did at the beginning, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. We'll do three longer breaths. So we're going to breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose, drawing the breath all the way down to the belly. Breathing out through the mouth, letting everything ebb away, allowing the nervous system to really rest in the ground and rest on your breath. One more deeper breath here, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth. Then we'll go back to a natural breath, nice and easy. Not forcing anything. Just allowing the breath to pour in through the body, into the body. And we're just going to start to notice how we feel. Perhaps we've got that snapshot or image from about an hour ago. We're just tuning in, seeing how we feel. Was there any tension that's now melted away? Do I feel calmer? Is my body more relaxed and more awake? So just noticing. And the same that we did at the beginning. Just going to take that snapshot, those feelings and images, and put them to one side so we're not hanging on to them. They can kind of drift away like the ocean waves wash, wash stones and pebbles, allowing things to wash away. So if you've got your feet wider and the knees together, just going to gently allow the knees to come apart and walk the feet in a little bit. And if we've got the legs out nice and long, start to gather the feet back in. 
And if it's comfortable to, catching a hold of the knees, or you might just want to allow the feet to rest in the ground. You're just going to take the knees from side to side with a gentle rock to start to gently waken the lower back and sacrum up again before we come to sitting. You can also rock forward and backwards or some circles. So do what feels good. Side to side, forward and back or circles. Gently rocking the boat. And then allow the feet to find the floor again. And in your own time, really gently come up to the side taking your time to come to sitting, no rush at all. I'm just going to scoot you a little further forward. Yeah, got a few more minutes. Hope everyone's feeling all right, a little bit more relaxed. I'm just going to come and sit on a bolster so I can be a bit higher. So finding an easy sitting position. Yeah. We've got this lovely feeling in our feet because we've worked them so much. We've done loads of moving and swaying like the ocean. I'm just going to tune in again to the upper chest. So placing a hand or both hands here. We'll just take one breath in. Filling that space in the upper lungs and breathing out. And then to the lower ribs, breathing in. I'm breathing out. And then to the lower belly, breathing in. Filling it with some really good stuff. That amazing chi that's all around us and breathing out. And we're just going to check in. How am I doing now? How am I feeling now? I'm just going to share a poll. You don't have to click on it if you don't want to. You might just want to sit there with this lovely feeling that you've got after all this movement. So I'll share it. Feel free to click on it if you want. Totally up to you. Oh, so far everyone's more balanced. Phew. <laughs> I'm really glad to hear that. That's wonderful. Oh, great. That's really great. So I hope that you can all have a really easy and calm day. And I thought just to finish with, we can really sit. I don't know, I'm going to sit cross-legged. You might want to sit on the chair. And I'm just going to place one hand on the belly and one hand so I've got my back of the palm on the lower back here, or you can do um, palm of the hand rather than the back of the hand. And we're just going to allow some energy to pour in front and back. Yeah. Allowing everything to really settle. We've done breath work, connecting in with our gorgeous kidney three point, done loads of moving. We've washed the spine with some wonderful water. Just allowing this to settle into the center of our being so we can go about the rest of the day with ease. Yeah. Easing the water, allowing it to really settle in. Lovely. And you can gently allow the arms to come and rest again and I'm going to say thank you very much to everyone for being here this morning I can see loads of hearts I'm going to all give you a heart as well I'm glad you really enjoyed it and I hope um, if anyone had knees or leg issues that it was a lot easier and eased off for you if you've got any questions don't hesitate to contact the Shiatsu Centre on the website and if you're really feeling groggy and um, Actually, I'm going to do do the same soon. I'm going to come and book a shiatsu treatment. I'm well in need of one of those. So, yeah, any questions, anything you're worried about, just get in touch. 
and I think Cliff's back next week to go further up the kidney channel, working our way towards our collarbones. But that's for later, that's a spoiler. So have a lovely day and see you soon. Bye.